Hey guys, so unfortunately part 2 of this series was destroyed in a fiery explosion and by that I mean I was organizing my hard drives and literally just deleted it from the folder in a recycling bin on accident. So we are skipping our butts straight over to part 3 out of 4. On the bright side, part 2 is probably the least important out of them all, but to summarize, Turbo and I basically just continued our quest in wooing Yuri. Enjoy part 3 and I'm planning on having the finale up Saturday the 23rd, so expect that then. Peace, peace. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Today we have part 3 we've already been through a thick two hours of this game we're cut we're getting to know our classmates we're back here again with turbo once again my co-host on the it is what it is podcast every saturday over on his channel link down below we're gonna hop right back into it we're and, getting uh, to know our classmates that's we easy. are yes know our classmates that's getting, beautiful, it's, beautiful. It's, it's it's some good bonding time i would like to think so we uh we were we were trying to kind of woo uh yuri that's yuri right well, I need to mm -hmm. remember. Say, say no, the, pur the purple hair is Yuri. Yuri, um, The pink hair is uh, Natsuki, Natsuki, and the red head, um, the, the the red carpet is Sayori. Okay, and then uh, the like leader of the club is uh, uh Monica. Monica, Monica so, that's right. So you are Yuri and Natsuki. I'm Monica and Perfect. Sayori. Okay, so Yuri liked the deeper theme, so we're gonna go lust. Uh, mm. easily a cage uh, memory oh no not memories covet no empty no oh yeah sari gets like, yeah sari likes the really sad stuff i forgot uh um, vertigo i deal with vertigo sometimes vertigo there we go here's yo sari's got some problems dark you know we'll, we'll dog see. uh philosophy definitely yuri um alone alone oh <laughs> uh embrace <laughs> okay uh essence there we go after image okay uh marshmallow unts, 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 unts. marsh of course that's natsuki natsuki likes like just the random like yeah, quirky no, she's stuff very random. crimson definitely calm no not calm uh contaminate contamination disarray vivacious uh melancholy I don't even know what effulgent means. Uh, heaven sent, boom. I already know her so well. All right, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry. I just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? I forgot we named it Pitbull. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I made the title of the first episode, Pitbull Joins Book Club. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. True. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. We were forced into it. Am I not Suki? I forgot. Yes, you know, ah, I can't wait for- Oh yeah, you're Sayori. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Yeah, you were. Well, yeah, but I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Did you guys have, like, festivals at your school or, like, any oh, kind yeah. of thing? Oh, yeah, we had dance festivals. Heck yeah, dude. That was, like, yeah. the best part of it, 100%. That's it. You sound like a bit, a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? What? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Aren't you saying you don't like squid? Oh, you of all like people? She's one of like those fucking, um, the ASMR, like slapping octopus penis. Wait, yeah. Why channels. would she, why would she like squid? Oh, uh, eh, I didn't say I don't like it. Oh, oh, I see what they're, they're getting at Besides, here. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon Ica. What? She farted on her again. That's not how you say my name at all. What does that even mean? I, I have no clue. It must, also, yeah. that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> ah, never mind, you dumb bitch. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> oh, God. <You're> fine. <laughs> Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sari is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down, saying nothing. Oh, fuck. I, I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Uh. You're spacing out again. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. 
Don't mind me. Bro, Sayor, are you good, dog? You can you can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything all right? Uh, 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 of course. Why, why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Dude, she's repressing so much disturbed emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sarah shows me a big smile. Don't mind. Don't let me distract you from having fun, everyone. Well, all right, if you say so. I worriedly glanced at Sarah before turning back to our, toward everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must have been spending a lot of time together. I timidly approached Monica, who was shuffling through some papers at her desk. Pippa, what's up? Mr. Worldwide! Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little bit too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? Oh, I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica okay, peers across okay. the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber a, a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. Would you like stick pencils in those rubber erasers? Because I would do that a ton. No, but what I would do, and it's a funny story, I, during one of the state tests in uh, seventh grade, I had an eraser and I had a ruler, and I, I, I was into Gordon Ramsay at the time, and I was making believe I was <laughs> chopping up some nice screens, and uh, the teacher just comes over to my desk, just takes a hand, wipes it all off my desk, and says, you are not a chef. And that, that's, that was my anyway. <laughs> And that was when your dreams of becoming a chef died. Yeah. But I'm surprised I'm not the, the one asking you, Pitbull. You certainly know her true, well better than I do. True, true. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talking to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me. To, it's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is Ooh, you, Pitbull. Me? Nani? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? <laughs> well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... So he already talks about you more than anything else, uh, you know? Uh? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sarah's always like that. She's been full of, she's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it's always been. <laughs> you're, too, you're so funny, Pitbull. <laughs> she blushes. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Dang. Dot, dot, dot. Ah, I said too much. Well, clearly. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to the conclusion, so you should just you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, all right. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori's sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice quiet so I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her, that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now that it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary, but there's so nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance across the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri pe peering at me from over her book, but she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord, so I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her, next to her own. I, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I can tell you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell that I was thinking that? Well, it's something that I do a lot, so it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. Why, why would you say that out loud? In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Are you eating candy? We've talked about this. 
Stop, Patrick. It's an addiction. Two boxes. Oh my goodness. Don't apologize. Your troubles are the only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, those are certainly those who there are certainly those who find most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I'd be glad to listen. Ah, uh, it's not really that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a bit off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't well, help- she stabbed me. <laughs> so I can't help but wonder if uh, something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Eh? S sorry, I didn't mean to say anything stupid. Say something stupid. It's not that. I just don't didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. And perhaps it was unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a bit too much. Pitbull. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. There are many untold mysteries behind every person, so no matter no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you may think there's a little maybe something behind it after all? Hmm. I think Sayori is a very complex person. Well we know she has some pretty di disturbed mm. thoughts. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head, and she may always not know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too, and I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying her thought your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Ah, I I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That, that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. I mean, I am just Mr. Worldwide after all. That's it. So, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, ah, that's not a compliment, is it? It is... It is, is what it is. what it is. Podcast every Saturday, link down below. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, oh, after some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? <sighs> Before I know it, everything's back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. Oh. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Gossip. So, okay, so Jack, I need to know what your opinions are about all four girls now. What are your opinions? So I'm, yeah, I'm worried about Sayori solely because of the words that are like, are correlated with her. Yes. Um, Monica seems very manipulative, uh, just because she seems like that preppy type, the popular girl that just, you know, always knows how people feel and knows how to manipulate mm -hmm. them. Um, Natsuki seems like the really innocent one that just like is always kind of blissfully unaware of what's going on. Yuri, I can't figure out because Yuri, I get like Monica vibes from her and I get like Sayori vibes from her where she's like, she's like kind of reserved, but at the same time, she knows how people are feeling. So that's kind of, that's kind of my impression of everyone. Mm -hmm. okay. Who should we read first? I say Sayori's. All right. Let's, let's, see, what, let's see what she's thinking. Hmm. hmm. It's nice, I guess. Hi. Oh, 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 Hi. yeah, 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 yeah. Hi. Nice, I guess. Come on, I can already on, tell you. I, don't, oh, I, have I can already tell you don't like it. Hey. <laughs> well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? You're right. Probably you. She's got us figured out. Eh? That's I right. didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You make a new friend, just like I was hoping. And say, are you good, bro? That makes me really happy. Are you happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good! That's all that matters <laughs> to me. Thank you, Pitbull. Mr. Worldwide. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? N no, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> that face are all right just tell me if you need anything i will don't worry about me okay you can go play with everyone else now <laughs> if you insist yay i'm gonna go home a little bit early today sayori tell monica i wasn't feeling well okay oh i'll see you tomorrow 
Before I can say anything else, Sailor cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Oh. She's not mentally stable. She's not yeah, mentally she's stable. She's sad. Um Well, I guess she didn't write a poem, you know. Oh yeah, we were supposed yeah, actually. No. Um let's check out uh Yuri's. Alrighty. Pitbull. Oh yeah, Pitbull. Your writing has only improved in these has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you show me has nothing short of been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me, but I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. It, is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, Yuri smiles sadly. Pipple, during lunchtime I eat by myself. Did you know <laughs> that? That's so sad. It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. Just the way they say this shit to you. Imagine just having a conversation. And by the way, I sit alone by lunch. Yeah, it's like, oh, I, I, I sit alone and, and read, uwu. <laughs> books are so full of amazing, inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just want to know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day, you know? And those friends don't oh. laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it- Oh, I'm not a know-it-all, Pitbull. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even it know. Looks like Man, it. all these girls are very, very self-conscious. Yeah. I have all it's these a, feelings. It's a poetry club. And all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you. That I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a dis difficult p person, Mr. Worldwide. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them! I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Uh, um, if you put it that way. Yeah, we really are friends now, aren't we? <laughs> Yuri puts her head down on her hands. But this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let Good. me get it for you. Go so Oh, Under the Light Part 2. Wow, she's a YouTuber. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grows. Closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I am too late. He steps into the streetlight. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Jesus! Understanding is underrated. <laughs> Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri, but instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do you dislike it? Uh, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. I called 911, Yuri. Yeah, we for real. Like we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get you in a mental hospital. Despite Yuri's poem usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I'll understand. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't need an explanation. It's okay. Yuri's having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make contact, I see a f a make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead Yuri gently takes my hands and put- Look at her eyes! Pushes them back to me! Uh... I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can, um, the poem is- Once again, Yuri fails to go- Oh, it's for me. You mean I can keep it? Yuri <laughs> nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always- you always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't worry. 
I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back to me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something, but I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah, I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. All right, uh, Natsu, we'll finish off with Monica. Alrighty. All right, Natsuki, meh. I guess you haven't really learned anything after all. Honestly, I don't know why I got my hopes up in the first place. What? I didn't think this one was that bad. What did I do wrong? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's going to sound just like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't even bother trying to write poems like this unless you're on Yuri's level. Oh. Nats Natsuki stopped short all of a sudden. D don't tell me, eh? You're not, you're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What, what are you talking about? And keep your voice down. You know Yuri would love this kind of, this angsty. Just because he's a talented writer doesn't mean I, I mean, ooh, looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Oh, good. We don't have to read hers. Her her first grade freaking spelling and whatnot. Monica. Let's read Monica's. Hi, Mr. Worldwide. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. Bro. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Your style has gotten so refined, Mr. Worldwide. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? How wow, did they just... Damn. They fuck... Well, well Yeah, they, they figured me out fast. Well, Jack, I guess Jack, so. Mon Monica knows. Monica, Monica knows all, apparently. Monica, Monica knows. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I peek my eyes through your windows. Um, I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she talked in the whole year. Not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Because I'm a nice guy. Mr. Worldwide is very open. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. She eh? That's <laughs> <laughs> That's awfully suspicious, you know? Spending time at her in the club room every day. Dude, what's your deal, Monica? Reading that edgy novel with her? Well, I just feel bad she has a hard time socializing. Oh no, she's gonna hear or something. It makes you want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know? All right, all right. She's gonna tell Yuri that because she's manipulative like that. I get you. Just be careful, all right? <laughs> I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could really be hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. Jeez, that's deep. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I didn't mean that. If anything, she might accident hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, right? <laughs> er, all right. <laughs> the lady who knows everything. An old Jack, tale. Jack. The, the title. The title. The lady who knows everything. Oh, is it? Is it about? Is it about Yuri? Well, whose poem is it? It's Monica's. Okay. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders Earth. The lady who knows everything. Wait, what about the title? A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight. Twilight sky? Not twilight sky? Until one day the wind ceases to blow. I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather. A dry quill. Expressionless. But a hand catches me beneath, between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything... The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. 
Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. With a breath, she picks me back up afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things I that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything. But it was kind of my on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put that much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, we wouldn't well, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? True. You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? <laughs> the tone? I mean, if everything was okay. We wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Yes, you would have things to write about. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much time into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? Uh -huh. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh. Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't know. I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. <laughs> Atsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Ah, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling? Dog, what was I supposed to do? Leave too? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. She's fine. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her early and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival's preparation, so... Or just ignore me! Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Nats uh, Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them, and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for you, and as for Yuri? Yuri, you can. Uh. Um. Guys! Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I. I'm useless. No. No. That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? N now, Natsuki pouring. A pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Suri enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. 
atmosphere? Uh, about that. I, I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. Great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that shit leaves you, Pitbull. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> in fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. How about you make some wraps? It would probably be a, go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative. Oh, I know what's coming up. Ah, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't... Oh. Yeah, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Pibble might not even like if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? It sounds more like you're just making excuses for Pibble to... What, what are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Oh, uh, guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to oh, Pitbull to decide no. how you like to contribute. Do okay, I have Jack to pick? Bus. Jack the bus. Okay, Jack, Jack, Jack. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Oh, no. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said. I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, well. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Pitbull. Oh. Pitbull, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight looks at me. Straight at... Okay, okay, no. okay. No! Okay. 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 One, I don't know why Sayori's up there. I forget. Because it's like Jack to go check the on bus, her, probably. You know what's happening. You know what's happening. Yeah, because if I whoever I pick, the others are gonna get mad, like and butt hurt. I I either want to pick Yuri or Sayori. I feel like it's Sayori. Like if we want to go check on her, make sure she's okay. Uh huh. Natsuki's fine. She doesn't need help. She's no. Baking. Natsuki's good. She's a fucking bitch. Monica's um, just like. I feel like it would crush Yuri if I picked Monica. But I feel like we should however, also check on Sayori. However, Monica's the leader and knows all, so... Up to you, Jack. I'm picking Yuri. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me Are you serious? Why would you... That's okay! I can tell- I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Pitbull. Y yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things, so I think your assistance will be very useful. It's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle that baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay. Okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Not really. It's kind of tense, I'm going to be honest. Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Pitbull? Me? I guess you could say I'm a little I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki! What? Why is everybody <laughs> yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no, that's not what I meant at all. Uh, uh... Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Pitbull picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really mm. well with my tea. And nothing mm. that I could do for the event will compare to that. So, so, I get it. I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Wh why? Uh -oh. Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be so far out of her comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always, always helps someone smile and feel good about themselves. No! 
I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing, but I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ooh. Ah, I believe you. Yeah, I hope... Yeah, I hope, that, I oh. hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for it today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out of the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um, huh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? Oh, shoot. Here we go. I think that would be best anyway. Yes. All right, then. You and I exchange phone numbers. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? I is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought I would be going to one the one to go into your house since I'm the one helping you. I suppose that makes sense, but if you don't mind, I think I'd prefer going to your house. All right. <laughs> In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide your not house to don't have locks on the doors. <laughs> I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you. Don't underestimate yourself, Pitbull. I think you'll make very productive. We'll make a very productive team. Even if Alina chose me, be chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But but Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You want me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Huh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if took as it if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. Oh boy. I can't believe- Is bad things about to happen? I can't believe this. Oh no. Yuri's gonna come to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots to the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I've had to make something happen between us? Ooh, shoot. Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. Oh, goodness gracious. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri's a clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard of a thing from Sayori since she left the club early Ooh. the other day. It's not like we texted each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Let's check on her. I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Ooh. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. But what about her parents? Again, we used to play so often that we made a habit of simply entering each other's house like we're family. That's a pretty nice house, actually. I would live there. It's a nice gate. Stacked house. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and creep. Well, she's probably depressed. I head up to a room where I finally find her. Sayori. Hi, Pitbull. Hi, Pit. Oh, sorry. Hi, Pitbull. This is an adorable room. She got like a big stuffed cow, a chicken. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. I haven't come over like it, this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is messy as it's always been. It's not that messy. Kind I of looks good. Oh, there, yeah. there's, a, there's a sock. I mean, I don't it's know. It's not man. too bad. I, would, I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations she's had for years now. Also, the windows are open, so she can't be, like, too sad. If you came over more often, it would be such a it would be it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end Not up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Are you aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? How do you know that? Yeah, mm. but wait, how did you know that? Sarah had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. Oh, oh she got it. Monica, of Monica, Monica's she like did. dude, Monica's manipulative, man. I don't know, keep an eye on Monica. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Oh, uh, that's true. What about you? Are you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping for her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. So it's just me and Yuri then? Yep. Freaking Natsuki's all alone too. There's more silence between us. 
Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you're doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too- I know you too well. So... Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Pitbull. Eh? Huh? Why can't it just be like it was always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? Punishment? Dog, what? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wanted to torture me. Jeez, dude. <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. <laughs> what on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Pitbull. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Dang. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> you're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Pitbull? She's depressed. I guess I have no choice this time. Thing is... I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Oh my gosh. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. Dang, sometimes it do be like that, bro. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know oh my how this I am? Why go to school? Jeez, dude. Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it with me? That's what it feels like. That's got mad depressing. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept me from this the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. I don't understand at all, Pitbull. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Dang. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Aww. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. A dildo. Now, seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. Aww. <laughs> so that's why, <laughs> that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Everyone's bad it's nothing but hurt. <laughs> why does she keep laughing? You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, people. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped it is if everything could be like it always was. And why did she want me to come to the club if she didn't? But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. She's just self-conscious like anyone else. Tears streak down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in, that, in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here, and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. 
Aww. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. My goodness. One, without thinking, I once again grab Sailor's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh. Pippa. Uh, Sayori. Sayori. Oh. oh. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Pip. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. Oh. She starts sobbing next to my ear. <laughs> this to me <laughs> please don't do this <laughs> pitbull hi Siri barely manages to speak between her sobs i don't know if i'm doing the right thing but all i want for her to know is that i care if you have it in you to call yourself selfish then you have to let me be selfish too no matter what it takes i'll figure out what needs to change i'll make these feelings go away and if there's anything you need me to do then you better tell me i'll get mad if you don't I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. <laughs> it's all really scary. I know, I know. Oh. I don't understand any of my feelings, Pitbull. Oh. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain but your hugs are so warm i know and that's really scary too Suri lets me go as she does i let her go as well the festival's tomorrow yeah it's gonna be fun right yeah how would you like for me to spend it all with you uh um ah uh, it's what i want i promise I, I I think that would be nice then. Yo, Pitbull's a good friend, TBH. We could just, like, be chilling with Yuri right now. Yeah, Siri wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I would have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. Oh, wait a minute. We could have chose Sayori. Maybe we would have spent the whole day with her. Oh, real? Oh, true. But, it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, y Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It it's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alrighty, I look forward to it. Bye, Sayori. Holy fuck. I, that was pretty tense. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over, too. I think Sayori's right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. We're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. Her turtleneck! So cute! <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting a long time? No, I just got here. But I start Do you want to read for Yuri during this since we're the only two? Fine, uh, but I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure I'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. Oh, ho, ho, do we now? The first thing she does is glance, ar <laughs> glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean what Jax is on every thumbnail. Wait, what? I, I, it's so clean what you say on during every dumb but when you, oh, what you say facts. on every thumbnail. True, true. I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Ah, no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. 
Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't go in there! I snatched Yuri's wrist, which oh. was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry! I'm oh. sorry! I wasn't thinking of some reason. I was just pacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I'll let go of Yuri's wrist. She, she puts both of her arm pants firmly in her lap, as if I'm making sure she's keeping track of them. She almost found my Pokemon card collection. Uh. Should we get started? She would have stolen them. They're, like, super rare. Uh. Yes! Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decoration and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know. Mood lighting, air... A aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guest to a fair, a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess, I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's for easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, kind of a weird thing to say to someone. Intense. I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's just something that I like about you, actually. I, is that so? <laughs> that makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax? I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them there in the poetry event. Pulls out like a bong. <laughs> like, oh yeah, like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles, a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I did some shop shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. Dog, wow. what? I never even thought of doing that. I think that would be an amazing, I thought that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be pretty neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, th this is difficult for essential oil. Oh, it's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contribu uh, contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on how, the, depending on the oils or herbs, or you might be actually going in the right track with the bong, you choose. You can change <laughs> the mood of that of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Permeate? What the fuck, Yuri? Relaxation, positive <laughs> energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. <laughs> wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells like little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. It's also an aphrodisiac. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Blood rushes to your balls. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But you know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? <laughs> purchase the... Uh, 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 did you purchase the origami <laughs> paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. A hundred? Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then, we could fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? That would look lovely. It would it also catch the eye it would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. So Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. 
Oh, ho, ho. your he giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me or is she more lax when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. There's a marker, Pitbull. Write it on my ass. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, all right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade is itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah. Uh, well. Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You don't think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it, it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. I won't. Unless you sacrifice children with it. Yeah, I promise. All right. The thinking is, I'm kind of into knives. Sometimes it do be like that. They're just so pretty. Have you ever played CSGO? I, I can't help it. She would lose her mind over gambling. <laughs> I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Ah uh, ha ha, you're, oh. You're laughing at me? No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how you nervous you got about sharing. Pitbull. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. Why do you say interesting? Just say, oh, that's pretty, that's pretty neat. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. Uh -huh. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn around on my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this, Amazon? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the tip of my index finger. Ow! Pepo! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It, it's my fault. I should have warned you. The knife's extremely sharp. It could cut through skin like it's pa- Oh no. Paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand, gives the wound a closer look. Ah, starts sucking on it. She stares at it and noticeably fidget, fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, uh, ah! Jack, I didn't want to say nothing, but you predicted it. She did! Without warning, Yuri puts her my finger in her mouth. Oh, she freaky like that, dude. She freaky like that. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh, P please forgive me. I only uh, drank your blood. It was kind of hot. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I. Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's oh. That's the most embarrassing thing I ever done. She just oh. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like, hey, girl, listen. I mean, uh, she... yeah, I was gonna say honestly, if that was some other girl with me, <laughs> my fucking thing, I'm not gonna. Ah, uh, sure. It was a little weird, and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? I, w I wouldn't mind. Yo, that Pitbull is such an innocent young man. I would not mind it at all. Hey, Yuri, what's your number? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. I w I would honestly around Yuri, I would get a ton of paper cuts. I would want to be around a lot of paper <laughs> around Yuri. You know, she doesn't just look. Let us. I, I have no HIV, no AIDS. I, I she can she can suck it. She can Yuri, suck it. I dropped a I dropped a knife on accident. She doesn't lift yeah. her head. What if she doesn't recover for this for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's oh, hand and I, I take you Yuri's that. hand and lick her index finger in return. When I played, it was my physics teacher, Mr. Laporta, doing it, so it was funnier. Pitbull, D did you really just do that? Yeah, what's up, girl? Now it's we're like, even. <laughs> It's like, hey, give me a big oh. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yuri looks at me like I did something wrong. Uh, ha, ha, I knew that would be a bad idea. It's not for the sweet aroma. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine, well, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird. Oh, yeah, he's oh weird. I'm weird. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? <laughs> I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. 
The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great! Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks! It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tables, tablets. Ah, oh, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind uh, fetching those, those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water? I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cup too much water, it will be too diluted. Okie dokie. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to, to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back oh, over her arm. Fucking Jesus no, Christ. was she no, was she cutting her arms? I don't know. I don't know. Oh no. Ah, uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Oh. No. no. Oh. Oh no. Let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into cups. So. I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on a wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well... Big booty bitches. It'll be more fun <laughs> to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so, after rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah. I'm sorry this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me? I, oh, for me? I don't need to go out. I don't know why it's not like you got me a gift. I don't, need, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. Takes out a thing of cocaine. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. I just want to know what was happening when I walked back in. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it makes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if you're quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel like that way about things like anime and games where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yo, we're just fucking each other up right now. We're yeah, just right. Stabbing each other, giving each other concussions. Sucking, <laughs> sucking fingers. S sorry. Your reveal's back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm not hurt. What day is it? I'm just startled, me. That's all. Sorry, I, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? No, I'll get it. Licks it off. Yeah, I actually got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and grab, fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel da back down in front of her. Oh Ooh. my god. Here, I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Is that blood in the fucking eye? No. It's... <laughs> I don't see blood. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry, I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Oh god. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Oh, oh shoot, okay. Ah, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize when she reads her books. 
almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Oh my god. Yuri's gentle fingers wrap around my wrist, singing a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It, it's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. Mm -hmm. I hesitantly to retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finished filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, not yet. It needs to dry first, you dumb bitch. That's true, but will that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be the best to leave it here. Then you have to bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Oh, there's more for us to do here, Yuri. I see two pillows on the bed. <laughs> Phew! Uh, you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to stop making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we'd have extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all! And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So? I shouldn't be disappointing or anything. Disappointed or anything. Gathering all the things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounds like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I kind of say that without thinking. About today, it's finally to have how much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... Very thoughtful, Pipple. Yuri... <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Oh... I kind of like that about you. Oh? Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayori! Huh? Ah! Hi, Pitbull! Sayori! Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Pitbull. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. Oh, she ain't stable. Yeah. I'm sorry. But we'll be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Sayori beams. Beams. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clue embarrassed. Ooh. Oh, man, she yeeted out of there. Yuri hurry hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. Oh, goodness. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. Dog. It makes me really happy. Does it now? That you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's oh, face. That's all that matters to me. 
Why am I feeling this way, Pitbull? She's jealous. I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Oh. It hurts so much. It kind of reminds me of Spider-Man 3 when Gwen Stacy and Mary Jane had that feud, right? Oh, Everything 100%. hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sarah, don't say that. It's true, Pitbull. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put me put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. Oh, Jack. What did Monica say? You're gonna learn a lot. No, you're gonna learn a lot, Jack. I should just. Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori? What I what I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be here by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But Dang, but, Pitbull. Suri looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Pitbull. Oh. Ugh. I'm really fucking scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Pitbull, I like you so much that I want to die. Oh my God. That's how I feel. And, and. That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Oh. Here we go, Jack. No. You make it up. It's your, it's your fucking job. No. Job. Doing... But we were going after Yuri. Oh, no. Dog. Dog. She just said she wanted to die, Jack. I know, but I can't lie to her. Yuri is not here, Jack. I don't want to lie to her, though, just to temporarily save her feelings. She is not stable. God she dang it. I, I love will. you. Huh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day helped me realize that you were truly the most important person to me. Good That's why I accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll be able to both be happy. Pipple. Suddenly, Ooh, we get to see what Pipple kind of looks like. wraps okay. her arms tightly around me. Pipple. Is this really okay? Yeah, I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never, You'll have, never to have to let go. Oh, I'm You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Pipple. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the deep, happiest moment of my life. A moment for me. But why? Even now. Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Pipple. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again, but no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Uh, okay. Oh, Yuri's gonna be pissed. I trust you. Sarah and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you the best. Hey, Pippo. Sari gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Huh? I don't really understand what Sari means by that. Are you saying that makes you feel that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. 
It feels like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. Why? But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in real reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori's the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Done. Done. Duh. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of uh, part three. Things are heating up. We've gotten to know Sayori a bit more. We've, uh, we've realized Sayori's secrets a little bit more. Not sure how Yuri's going to respond to this. I don't even know, like, what Monica's... Monica's manipulating people because she told, you know, Sayori about me and Yuri. So well, I don't know how this is going to flip on its head, but things are going quite wrong quite quickly, especially in this episode. So, again, be sure to go check out Turbo down below. Uh, we do a podcast every Saturday together. And, uh, yeah, check out part four when it comes out next week. And... And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.